Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again. Well, today we're going to be having a look at a beer that my good mate and fellow Aussie beer reviewer Jez Lawson reviewed about uh, 18 months ago. And since then, it's uh, been one that I've been uh, really interested in getting my hands on. Now, last year in uh, August, I uh, fulfilled a lifelong dream of uh, going to Tasmania. And of course, I brought back an assortment of beers with me. This uh, being one of them, Bogues Triple X Ale, which comes in at 4.8% alcohol by volume, and it's brewed and canned by Jay Bogan's son in Launceston, Tasmania, Australia. All right, so um, yes, this will definitely be the first time I've tried this uh, brew. I only bought back this one can, and uh, it's been sitting in the fridge for uh, quite a while, and uh, well, <laughs> there's no um, no doubt that it's uh, really nicely chilled. Okay, so let's uh, crack open this uh, can. Nice crack there. And uh, I'll pour it out uh, into this mug. All right. There we go. Doesn't that look good, folks? I must say. And uh, this will be my uh, first beer of the day as well. So uh, as far as uh, we can see uh, with the uh, appearance, uh, you know, just waiting for this camera to refocus. Gee whiz. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. The shortcomings of technology. All right. Well, um, as far as we can see with the uh, appearance, um, yeah, it's a clear golden color. It's quite effervescent. And uh, yeah, a nice frothy bright white head there. Yeah, that's uh, dissipated somewhat since I poured it, but um, yeah, you've at least got a finger there. All right, so uh, on to the aroma. Okay. All right. I must say it's still, um, uh, even being from Tasmania, it's a typical uh, Aussie beer smell. Yeah, there's some uh, grains there. No real um, presence of uh, any hops. Oh my, and there's an annoying system message again on the computer. Java update. <laughs> if there isn't enough of those. All right, so, um, yeah. So uh, we've talked about the appearance and we've talked about the aroma. So uh, that could only mean it's uh, time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So let's dive in. <laughs> All right, well, um, yeah, up front, um, yeah, definitely getting um, some sweet grains there. There's a definite uh, malt presence. Um, the bitterness, well, it's very minimal. Um, yeah, there's no real taste of uh, hops there. Mm. I mean, if I really had to reach for it, maybe a very faint sort of citrus note mm. but uh, yeah all in all this is uh, this is pretty tasty it's a pretty flavorsome uh, full-bodied Aussie uh, beer now I know it's uh, well it's called triple X ale but um, yeah it really does just taste like a lager anyway um, <laughs> let's have another go Well, it's uh, definitely holding that taste profile. Um, yeah, it's crisp and clean and goes down smooth. Uh, there's nothing offensive about it flavor-wise. It's very drinkable. And at 4.8% ABV, it's certainly something that you could smash on a hot summer's day. Now, um, I only bought one can of this at a uh, bottle shop just near the hotel I was staying at in Hobart. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was quite reasonable. And I imagine down there, the price point would be would be pretty good um, and uh, yeah one thing that Jez did mention in his uh, review and uh, I think it uh, certainly does ring true I have never seen it here on the mainland apparently um, according to the um, chap that sent uh, him a can it's uh, only available in Tasmania so uh, 
What a treat, folks. <laughs> All right, so um, it's time for me to wrap this up and give it a score out of 10. Hmm. All right, well, all in all, it's a very um, solid, thirst-quenching Aussie beer. Yeah, a lot more enjoyable than uh, 4X or Foster's or uh, VB, for that matter. Um, it is a real shame that they don't sell it on the mainland. Um, in terms of a score out of 10, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. So um, there you go, folks. Uh, 8 out of 10 for Bogue's Triple X Ale. So if you're ever down in Tasmania, definitely check it out. All right, well, uh, thanks for joining me. I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you all next time. But uh, until then, fare thee well, all.